Hello you guys and welcome back to another episode of Pog Talk Obvious Announced Megas. This is episode number three where we'll be talking about Mega Sceptile. So if you are excited to hear about what Mega Sceptile has to offer, make sure you hit that um, like button as well as you hit the subscribe button before we even get into the video. So, Sceptile, Sceptile you guys, I don't know why I say Sceptile, I've just been pronouncing that for a while. But Sceptile is one, is my second favourite Hoenn starter. I mean, um, honestly, Swamp Mudkip was my favorite starter. Then it went Trico, and then Torchic. I know, I know, I shouldn't hate on Torchic because Blaziken is just amazing. But I found, I found it overused, especially when you, people got the gift Torchic in X and Y with the Mega Blaziken. That that was just overused in my opinion. So that's why it's kind of down on the list a bit. But yes, we are talking about um, Mega Septile, Mega Septile today, and I really need to stop saying Septile is a habit of mine. But yes, before we do anything else, let's just get some quick stats about Mega Sceptile or Sceptile in general. Sceptile is grass typing. He can have the ability either overgrow or unburden as his hidden ability. I like to run an unburden weakness policy to Sceptile because um, what basically unburden does is that it raises speed whether when the item is used or lost. So when it gets hit by when Sceptile gets hit by like a flame charge or something. Weakness policy will activate it allow speed everything on the field. So unburden and weakness policy is good for that. Honestly, I much rather to prefer to run a um, modest special septile because even though most of his moves fall in generation six, his physical special septile with the dragon typing is just gonna be amazing in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire guys. So talking about its um, its special move set. Let's go into it right now. I prefer, I like to run the moves at Lee Storm, and uh, what else was there? Lee Storm, Focus Blast, and then other special moves like Ground or something. I don't know. Solar Beam could be a thing. I don't honestly know, you guys. It's hard to, obviously, you'll see it on the screen, but I'm just trying to like dictate, dictate what moves I should put on it like right now while I'm just recording, talking myself through it. But yes, actually, let, let's run this. Let's run a Leaf Storm Synthesis. Um, let's run a Leaf Storm Synthesis Focus Blast and Dragon Claw to Sceptile. Because basically, what um, what these moves do is that um, I've lost my module now because I was just thinking of the move set on the spot. But yes, Leaf Storm is a nice and powerful move. It, even though it does reduces your special attack by two, it just gets the job done. Focus Blast, as I say in previous videos, has, had, has, has horrible accuracy. It's only got 70% accuracy, but it's 120 base power, so that's good. Synthesis recovers your health back, and then Dragon Claw is a physical move. But when you if Mega Evolve it, it's just going to be amazing. And then looking at its base stats, its base stats is um, it's pretty good, actually. You know, like I say, its attack and special attack are quite close. Its speed being the fastest stats, so with that unburden, it's going to help even more. It's, def it's um, HP is all right for starter 70, and then it's special defense, it's tied with its attack, and then the, the defense is just the lowest style on his subtitle. So let's just get a quick look at Mega Sceptile, you guys. This is like one of the designs, one of the official designs for Mega Sceptile. It honestly looks amazing. amazing. Mega Sceptile has the ability Lightning Rod, and I still like to run a modest one. I mean, honestly, I think, like, um,. My lightning rod on a mega satire was not like the best thing because when it's even when it's um grass typing it's uh, it resists electric and then making it grass dragon it may resist it even more so why make it immune that's kind of pointless really if you ask me but either way i don't know what game freak re reasoning was behind that but all i do know is that this pokemon is going to be amazing um i don't know like and what the um what the stats are for Mega Sceptile yet, yeah, I don't even have a description of it, so I am sorry you guys. I am working on with limited resources for now, but hopefully when it's announced we'll get to test it out and then hopefully we can use it. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Focus Talk Obvious Announced Megas. In the next episode you guys will be talking about the other uh, Mega Hoenn Mega Announce Hoenn Data Mega which is Mega Swamper. So if you guys are excited for that, or you're excited for Mega Sceptile, make sure you smash the hell out of that like button to stay up to stay up to date with all the latest resources of their content. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button and then comment what you think of Mega Seth Tyrell and with some feedback for the video in the series you guys I want to thank you so much for coming out you guys have been amazing I've been Gibbs Great. this is me signing off